Hi, it's Kate. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be making another tutorial for art journal in box. Art journal in box means that I'm working at separate pages, 20 to 20 centimeters, and I'm putting them into box. I'm not working at any art journal block. So I prepared my pages with white just page with my just white gesso sorry and i will be stamping different images all stamps and papers and stencils are by agat baraniak it's a polish designer and she has got awesome products i love them the stamps are rubber but they are not so high as another because i think they are made with laser not with that uh, another machine for making rubber stamps but as you can see they are working just perfectly I'm stamping just here and there to make some interest as my background and I'm quite relaxing during my art journaling we have now in March 21 absolutely hard lockdown in Czech Republic I'm quite depressed already because it's almost year and there is no improvement, our government is no comment, I don't want to be rude, <laughs> so I think I will stay another year in my studio, no traveling, no, no nothing. So I applied a paper paste by Prima Marketing and here is awesome embossing powder by WOW Embossing and I'm applying it over that stencil are areas and I will heat it up. It it adds interest to background and it's really nice structure for background. I love heat embossing over any kind of paste. I think it's nice and it, uh, it works great. And now one of the best parts it's uh, collaging or making background for my focal point. All these papers I buy Agabaranyak. I I think it's called Rustic Journey or somewhere like this. There are lots of images uh, with vintage look. I will use some of them in the whole piece. Some of them I will cut or tear, just according to my fantasy. When you're making art journal, play, relax, do it as you like to do it. Because art journaling, it's not about to make the same same work as others. It's about to be inspired by others, but making it your way because it's your art journal. All Agabaranya papers are thick, so it's they are really great for art journals, even for card making or just or scrapbooking. They are lovely. I don't like thin papers, I don't like to work with thin papers, so I'm usually buying for my crafting papers, which are very good quality. And honestly, those prints, those prints are so lovely. The base I, I glued with 3D foam tape, and now um, I'm using just uh, liquid glue. This will be my focal point, this eagle, but I think it's still quite a boring background so I will add more and more papers just uh, just to like it it's it's sometimes funny to understand why I'm doing this I'm doing this because I like it there are no rules in art journaling there are no how to's you just just to play and uh, you can say why you made such a big stamping at the background that you are now covering it. It's because I like stamping and I never, I never know how, how I will glue all the papers. I don't know. So it's better for me to have more stamping than to have less stamping and uh, stamp when uh, everything is glued. So. This is the reason why I made so many stamping images in the background. And uh, I made them with archival ink. 
because I will be playing with uh, Tethered Angels Glimmer Mist as my background. I will color it. So I need a waterproof ink. It's important. This is the rule you should uh, take care of to using uh, waterproof ink when you want to play and uh, add liquids. It doesn't matter if it's spray, watercolors, if it's uh, another medium, any scribble stick, any crayon, water-based crayon, just uh, seal the page with gesso or with acrylic or with uh, matte gel medium and use waterproof inks. So now I'm gluing my focal point and I added some string. Just cream one which are foam and this sentiment, this is chipboard uh, designed by Tim Holtz. And now it's time to play with colors. May, you can say after all my collage work at this that it doesn't need colors. But no, it always needs some color. It always needs something more. Without color, that, that will be boring. So I will be coloring and splattering my background. These glimmer mists, they are just glimmering a bit. There are some shining particles and it makes really, really lovely uh, background. It's, I think, almost the same as uh, Starburst sprays by Lindis. They have also some, some particles which are shining. Some are metallic, some are like pearls scent. I'm not pretty sure about the chemistry inside them, but it's nice. Uh, when you look at the end of my video for detailed photos, you will see that shining in the photos. Here, when you are looking straight, like my camera is set up, you cannot see any shine. Just from angle, it's visible. I'm adding more color. This one, I think, oh, it's not last, but uh, I wanted to have one creamy color. And uh, then I decide, okay, let's make some contrast. And I'm adding this uh, teal, blue teal. I think it's teal color. And I think it's, it's nice contrast and nice addition to my background. And splatters. I love to make splatters. It's uh, relaxed to making <laughs> splatters. I will dry everything and I'm not done with the color. I think I lost a bit of this rustic feeling. Not rustic. Yes, rustical, vintage feeling. So I took uh, this dress ink, uh, vintage photo, and I'm adding uh, it uh, to my art journal just to bring the back this. Uh, this feeling of vintage. It was too colorful. Not too colorful, too bright maybe, I can say. So because of it, I'm applying. I'm working on glass media matte. It's, it's awesome. I know that you can see a part of my light. <laughs> I have big ring uh, LED light, but uh, it's, it's just just tiny part. So this glass matte is it's great. And splatters. Now it's time for lost splatters. And before I will do them, oh no, I forgot. I uh, took stencil, I made some stenciling, but with this tool it wasn't good choice because when you have such a tiny stencil, always use brush. And I was lazy to find my stenciling brushes. So it's just tiny, tiny stenciling there. <laughs> now I need to dry everything and the magic of the cutting. I'm taking white uh, watercolor, uh, watercolor. It's uh, Ecoline watercolor by Royal Talents and it's great for making splatters. I am not diluting it with water too much, just a bit. But I'm making like tons of lovely white splatters. <laughs> if you don't like splatters, don't make them. 
just leave it as as you like. It's art journal. It's uh, it's about freedom in creating. If you don't like splatter splatters, don't make them. And this is it. This is my art journal in a box. I hope you like my video. If you like it, give me a like. Do not forget to subscribe. And uh, I wish you nice, nice and calm days.